Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. I'm an intuitive tarot card reader. Uh, so for private readings, my email is listed below. I just want to thank you for being here, for joining and supporting the channel. If you enjoy this content, please feel free to leave behind a like or a subscribe. Otherwise, let's jump straight into it. Just want to warn you, this is for those that are wanting to reconnect with an ex-lover or genuinely curious. Uh, if you want to leave the past in the past, this reading might not be for you as it might. Um, evoke certain emotions okay just a bit of a warning there for you Virgo so let's jump straight into it and see do they miss you does this person miss you Virgo okay knight of cups six of swords with the death card okay uh knight of cups could be a cancer pisces scorpio um, just because the sign of your person, the element hasn't come up, it doesn't mean it doesn't represent that person. The Knight of Cups is really a curious figure. Uh, the Knight of Cups acts very much on emotion and he's very much swept up in emotion. So I definitely feel there's someone who's trying to move on from you, Virgo. Now, as of now, I think they're still in sort of a limbo phase because the Knight of Cups is very much swept up in this river of emotion here, okay? This is water, water that's sweeping this knight up, but he's determined to get to the Holy Grail. He's determined to chase the golden chalice because he sees something special in it. So I see that there's someone around you, possibly more so under a water sign, or it could just indicate someone emotionally feeling like you gave them a lot of love, a lot of devotion, a lot of care, a lot of attention. But most importantly, you made them feel safe. You made them feel desired. You made them feel loved. Um, and this is definitely heightened and I feel like there's a bit of scattered energy coming from around this person because I feel like a part of them, they, they're still in a state of feeling quite vulnerable uh, regardless of how things ended, whether it was this person that initiated this ending or it was you, regardless of the catalyst for your ending or your disconnection. I feel like this person is still swept up in emotion, okay? The Knight of Cups longs to be with the with this Holy Grail, with the Golden Chalice. He longs to be reunited and he will gallop um, over many seas, cross many oceans and obstacles to get there. So I really feel like you've got someone who's determined to make things possibly work with you again, Virgo, okay? Um, I do sense that there's someone here that wants to move on from the past, um, look, the Six of Cups can be read, uh, sorry, the Six of Swords can be read in a couple of ways. In particular, the Swords represent an air sign. So it might be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who's feeling like they want to improve a situation with you or they want to improve communication. Either make it more open, make it more consistent, or make it more frequent, okay? So there is someone feeling that they want that improvement or they want a second chance. The Death card is also here, possibly a Scorpio, but essentially its symbolism is renewal, okay? It's hope, it's giving something a second chance or the rebirth of something. Now, whether this person just wants to remain friends or whether they want something romantic, they want a fresh start or a restart around you or with you, Virgo. Let's go back to that Six of Swords, though. This is leaving behind toxic energy and going into the light. You can see that she's venturing on the back of this white, pure swan. She's venturing into the sun. She's leaving behind the dark ravens that are perched on these swords. I really feel like someone is moving away from the darkness of your connection. And I feel like a part of them is really dwelling on the, the good emotional aspects. And because they're becoming maybe nostalgic, reflective, sentimental, this is actually awakening feelings of renewal or this is actually them possibly coming to their senses or wanting something more with you. There is someone, whoever, who definitely wants to turn their back on what you had. They were swept up in a lot of emotion. They're still in a very vulnerable state here, Virgo. You might be too, but this is more about them. But they actually want to leave it behind. They want to start fresh. Okay, they want to start something new. It might not necessarily involve you, Virgo. Only time will tell if that person wants something with you. But the Six of Swords is all about a journey. It could be a mental journey, spiritual, internal, external, a physical journey. Some of you might have someone moving away from you. They're in fact actively 
trying to distance themselves away from you, Virgo, because they're still hurting, okay? Um, because they're venturing into the death card here. Now, the death card is major, major endings. So it could be someone that's still swept up in the way things ended between the two of you, okay? Especially if it ended in a very explosive or a very massive way. Now, the death card is also a sign of Scorpio, so this might be a Scorpio coming through for some of you. If not, this indicates mystery, elusiveness, evasiveness, okay? Things that were suppressed or things that were hidden. Um, for some of you, I feel like this person is trying to deny or suppress their feelings in a way. Um, mentally, they might be trying to not brainwash themselves, but trying to, they might have a mantra or a motto they're trying to go by to help them heal. Um, but I do feel like there's someone here who wants to put the past in the past. Um, let sleeping dogs lie, okay? There is someone here that wants to turn their back on the emotional connection that you had because the death card is calling them for something new. Now, this doesn't mean that it's forever. For some of you, this person may come back. There is an offer with the Knight of Cups. There is an offer of love. That offer could come back around once this person has grown and evolved. But it's about Scorpio energy. So this person has to take those suppressed feelings, get down into the deep recesses of their subconscious and understand and reconcile with their feelings. The only way this is going to happen is this, this person has to do it, Virgo. You cannot push them. You cannot make this happen any faster. But there is a transformation and a change that's taking place internally for this person, I feel. And there is someone who might want a second chance or a restart in love. Now, that restart for a lot of you could involve you again, Virgo. For others, it won't be. It will be with a different person here as well, okay? I will leave it at that, though. Um, just want to thank you for watching and supporting the channel.